brothers and sisters, it's your friendly neighbor Chili Boo in the cooking chill coat and holy shit. I know that sunrise does not belie the fact that it has been obscenely hot up here. Now, all you motherfuckers in Ontario, well, I know that you're dancing with the humidity monster. Been there, did that for 37 fucking years. Don't want to do that again, but it's because I'm closer to the sun. <laughs> I'm on a plateau. I'm high. Anyways, thanks for joining me for Henny Penny, Henny Penny, The Sky is Falling, a drone story. Just enjoying a little bit of a mama's chili bomb that is still hanging, not even in cure yet. Quality control, you gotta do it. Someone's gotta do it, I'll be that guy. So yeah, the other day I decided to go for a little bit of a flight and uh, I'm always flying when I can. Practicing. But I uh, decided to go over to the uh, wreck site over at Punsy Lake, about five kilometers away, and uh, I throw my bird up in the air, and I'm flying around doing some stuff, and how about I just inset this into the corner and let you enjoy the footage as I amuse you with my story. Anyways, so here I am flying around, and uh, everything's going copacetic, and I'm trying to get to a height uh, with my Evo. That's why I'm flying my Evo only today. And uh, I want to get some good shots of Punchy Lake. It's, it's a pretty long lake, probably about five miles long or so. A couple miles wide is about this point. Anyways, so I'm up there and uh, I get a, a little bit of a, a device warning telling me that, hey, I want to come home, my battery's low. Now, keep in mind, I have had issues with uh, the Evo controller talking to the uh, Huawei P30. That's weird shit, so. Recently, so it's the last month or so, I've been flying with just the controller, which is one of the, the advantageous things that I love about my Evo. But, as you'll find out in this video, it is also a huge drawback. <laughs> so anyway, it wants to come home. I'm in the middle of like filming and shit, so I'm like, well, you can't come home. Just step there a couple more minutes. Then shit gets weird. I noticed the telemetry on the controller is letting me know that it's descending even though I'm not pulling down on the stick. Then I look at the battery level. I guess I should have paid attention to the battery level when it said it wanted to come home earlier. But hey, I was in the middle of getting a shot. So uh, yeah, as it were, here I am at the wreck site. There's several properties along the shoreline as you can see in the video that uh, or beneath my one and a half pound drone as it's falling from the sky. Uh, no, it's not really falling because when you think of falling, you think of something like just falling without any resistance, you no know, flapping of the arms like a bird or something like that. You know, like a rock would just fall from the sky. But the props are still turning. I'm looking at it. I'm fucking running, I got the controller in one hand, I got my glasses on because I need my eyes now when I'm flying to see the controller and shit, so, and to see the bird, so I'm fucking looking over the top of the glasses so that I can see it, then I'm looking at the controller, where the fuck are we going, where the fuck are we going, dashing through the woods, and all of a sudden, bang, it's right there on the fucking ground in front of me, it's about mm, 10 feet away from uh, someone I know, their property, so I just let them know that uh, the, uh, the quad decided to land. <laughs> Anyways, that's just part of my drone story. I know. I had the full kit. I had like, no, literally, literally, I had the full kit. I had the Evo and all the accruments that went with it. I had like the four fucking batteries. I got the Mavic Air 2 with me as well in this case. I'm good to go. I can fly wherever the fuck I want with whatever the fuck I want. But here I am intent on flying the Evo. <laughs> So uh, I pack up my shit and I uh, drive up Punta Lake Road and I go around to the north side of the lake and I start going up a mountain, you know, I'm about 13 or 14 K along Punta Lake Road and I'm getting up some good elevation and shit. And I throw up the quad just for shits and giggles and a little bit of footage here of that. And uh, no problems. Come on back down and let's go a little higher. So we go a little bit higher. No problems there. Hey, cool, right on. More footage, hey, like it. 
Then uh, it's time to go home. I got, I know, I'm getting hungry. I've been out for a couple hours, fucking around, playing and shit. So coming down the mountain. I get to this point where I think, man, that would be just a great shot through the trees out to the water. So I pulled over and I stopped. Set up my little landing pad. Got my Evo out there. Uh, up in the air we go. Cue the camera. Action. Flying out, flying out. Then it decides it gets to a point where it wants to return to home. I'm not about to argue this fucking time. I'm not going to argue this time. End of discussion. Come on home, pumpkin. No worries, no worries. Daddy's waiting, daddy's waiting. So it's coming along, and I'm like, and it's like, okay, so it's, it's a little bit over me. It's, you can, I'm, I'm, I'm up there, right? I got, I got some height. So uh, it's about 250 meters past me, and it's descending quickly on the side of this mountain. I can see where the fuck I'm going via the camera. I know it's not near where I am with my truck. <laughs> so the telemetry again says it's about a quarter kilometer away from me. I can see the road, not again where I am with the truck, but I can see the road that I've come down the mountain on. And the next thing you know, I'm steering through trees and shit. And it comes down like, I'm thinking you know, 10, 15 feet from the road. It's, there it is. <sighs> Remember when I talked about how advantageous it was to be able to fly your Evo without the app? It's got a drawback. It's got a drawback. You know with uh, the Mavics, they've got Find My Drone. <laughs> I don't want to fucking use that, but thank you, sweet Lord Baby Jesus, for Find My Drone. I spent two hours looking for my Evo, and then I decided to come home to call Autel and if need be, get some more eyes and go back up on the mountainside. Well, I spoke to Alejandro at Autel. Cool guy, I spoke to him before. He's a dude in the, some of those demo videos on their website and shit. Anyways, he notifies me that since I was not using the Autel Explorer app, that there is no record of the telemetry either in the handset or on the device I did not use Oh, I'm sure of luck, but Alejandro does offer me a uh, refurbished Evo 1 for the little price of $700 American if I don't successfully find my Evo. So that was rather disheartening. I was a little pissed off. As per my video, the most expensive Evo in Canada, I didn't want this fucking Evo to end up costing $3,500. I go and get my, my brother from another mother. Making Clouds with Mudflap is his YouTube channel. Check it out if you don't fucking know that guy. And, uh, yeah, he's one of my best friends. I love that motherfucking monkey. He, uh, he came with me. We went up the mountain. He hadn't been up there at that point in time. And uh, I gave him the parameters of where I'd searched and how I'd searched and what I thought. And again, I was, I was adamant that it was, it was relatively close to the road. I thought, you know, within 10, 15 feet from the road, it's like sitting on that little berm near a bush. And I fucking knew it. I saw it. <laughs> So uh, we're not up there more than fucking 10 minutes. I'm within that 10 or 15 foot barrier. We started at about 300 um, yards away, working our way back down toward where I'd parked the truck, and boom. I was like, got it! And it's like, fuck, I wish you would have had a camera, or either of us had a camera to take a picture of where it was, because it was probably about 25 to 30 feet. So those two hours I spent combing up and down, up and down, looking. From a pumpkin, I was like a good 15 or 20 feet away. I would have never found it. So, listen to your battery. Blah, blah, listen to your battery warnings. <laughs> Make sure that you're utilizing a device, and the device that I'm recording this on right now is a Samsung A8. And I know, matter of fact, that it looks fucking cherry with the pumpkin. So we will do that from now on. And uh, I hope you've been uh, anecdotally amused by this short drone story. Any penny, any penny, the sky is falling. See you next video. Till then, <laughs> fly responsibly, fly safe.